Medical device maker Stryker is feeling the pinch from an artificial hip recall. The stock continues to show strength, but profits crumbled 34 percent after the company took a $170 million charge tied to recalls of bad hips. Skyping with us this morning, orthopedic surgeon Robert Zan, and you actually were using these hips on patients, but what happened? Stryker made a hip. They make many different hips. They made one particular hip, it's called a modular hip. Modular hip combines a chrome cobalt neck piece that fits into a titanium stem. Unfortunately, the design coming out of Stryker's hip ended up to be uh, somewhat of a disaster. The disaster is this. They originally predicted that maybe 0.5% of them were going to fail, but the numbers rapidly rose. And now we're looking at a statistic well about 50% of the, of the components that are corroding and the corrosion creates a reaction surrounding the hip and then chrome and cobalt can be released and released into the bloodstream and if that, get, if that gets released into the bloodstream then uh, major problems can happen with various systems fatigue neurologic systems skin changes the company says that it is prepared to write checks for medical expenses it also says that it's taking care of this situation and constantly monitoring it as well as collecting data in the medical community. But do you think this is enough? As we follow these patients, what we found is the longer that they delay the eventual treatment, the worse that they do. So just because a patient comes in and they think that maybe there's something wrong, we have to determine in effect that they have what's called a pseudotumor which is a collection of fluid around the hip joint, which automatically means we're looking at a potential disaster, or if they simply have slightly elevated chrome and cobalt levels, that may not be a problem to them at all. Thank you for your time, doctor. Welcome.